Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. It's a common misunderstanding or assumption by anti-Flat Earthers or Globe Earth defenders that Flat Earthers just don't understand or are too stupid to get the Globe Earth model. So we all know that if we have a circle then and we're standing here on top of the circle, which is where we would be if we were on a Globe Earth, that down is towards the centre of that circle. And if we draw a circle like this to represent a sphere, and then we stand here, uh, let's say this is the equator on the globe Earth model, then of course uh, down becomes perpendicular to the original down because it's towards the centre of the globe Earth. OK, we understand it, we get it. It's a very simple concept that when you're on a circle, that down, wherever you are, on the outside of that circle, then down is towards the center of that circle, right here where that yellow dot is. But the question is, how do you scientifically prove and verify that down on the real Earth is perpendicular to the original down? So we start here and then we move down to the equator. But how do we actually prove and verify that when we are on the equator that our direction of down has changed to a different angle? It's understood that we can call this level if you want and you can call this level. You can call level perpendicular to your down. Sure. Go ahead and call it that if you like. But how do you scientifically prove and verify that down on the real Earth, the Earth that we stand on, not with drawings and concepts and theories, how do you go about proving that in the real world on this Earth that down becomes perpendicular to the original down? Now, of course, people are going to say because of the stars and the way they look. Okay, so you want to look up to say that down underneath your feet is a different direction just because you move a few hundred or a few thousand miles across the Earth. So, okay, if you use celestial objects as proof I think it's very fair to say that you must first prove that you can measure the assumed distances to those celestial objects, whether that's the sun, moon or stars. You have to be able to measure, not calculate. Anyone can make calculations on a model. We all know that you can draw lines and angles and they will all work out perfectly in this model on a screen. But remember, this is about what we can prove and scientifically verify in the real world, on the real Earth. That is outside in the real physical environment. And to if you're going to uh, use celestial objects as proof, as well as being able to prove that you can measure the assumed distances to all those celestial objects, you must be able to factor in perspective, because of course it is accepted now that perspective is a thing that governs all observations. In fact, there are several prominent Globe Earth defenders that have confirmed this now. So, if you're going to use observations of celestial objects as proof that down can become perpendicular to your original down in the real world, on the real Earth, then you must, of course, factor in perspective because you can only make observations of celestial objects. So, perspective is going to be a factor. So, there you go. I look forward to some scientific arguments. You are welcome to leave any kind of comment you like, any hateful comments or any 
verbal abuse will just show that uh, the science isn't something that can be brought to the table. Looking forward to being proven wrong and shown if there are other ways that we can demonstrate in the real world without models how down can be or even confirm the model confirm this model prove this model it's very simple it's a circle with two yellow lines on it I would love for someone to be able to prove that this model is our reality thank you very much